Hey there, y'all. All right, so I've got a little beautiful unboxing, a cloth and paper unboxing. Did anybody else feel like they are in the Hot Mess Express? No, just me. All right, good, just checking. It has been a barn burner of a day. I feel like I am running in 50 different directions and let's just get this, let's just get this done. I'm just gonna pull this out of the way. I was able to actually pull my mailing address right off. I do love this packaging for that reason. This is the March Villa Beautiful kit. And I am super excited about it. I do watch uh, the spoilers. I do like these kits. I am hit or miss on some of the pens in a moment, but I usually come back to wanting to use them. I am also very excited about the pen in this particular pack. Much like cloth and paper, the whole balance theme seems to be a thing right now. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. So let's just open this guy up. I did, again, watch the spoilers and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to want most of this. I love, I absolutely love this base outline. A bunch of different places have done it. I enjoy it. I do like that the paper is in this separate little pack here. Just gonna pull that open. I always keep paper for deco and other uses. I believe there are always two vellums. And the rest are some nice cardstock. So here is, this doesn't want to open for me. Okay, vellum number one, very nice. I, I really like the colors. I just, it's a nice neutral, palette and what I find is with Southwest style stuff when you talk neutral it's actually warmer and that is that is me I also like this greenish tinting to it so I am down for it here is one side there is the other and I also like these because a lot of times what I will do is there are other things that I might stick to them so I don't necessarily need it to have some big, huge, intricate design. I like that I can just take something and then deco it up as I like if I use it as a dashboard. That's really pretty too. All right, so there are the papers that will have to go in the deco. They did this really neat thing this month where instead of having the small stickers, they just have these washi tape rolls with stickers. So. I actually kind of really enjoy that. I'm not gonna open them right now. We will, I'll open them. You'll see them in planner plays, I think is what will happen. And then some very warmy toned washi tape, which you will also probably see in a planner play. I am going to drop these in my drawer right now. That way I don't have to think about it. And same thing if these sticker rolls fit. Yay, it's, yay, they fit, they sit, okay. Perfect, so those are out of the way. I'm gonna make you wait on a close-up of that pen. You always get a pen refill. I am excited about these page flags. Are they narrower? So, month before last, we had these. Ooh, they're a little bit narrower than these guys. Okay, which, which I'm down with. I actually find for me that the rectangles seem to work better than the cloth and paper squares. And that has to do with my planner size more than anything else. But these I think will be even better because of the size and you have a nice lavender color, a nice Moby color and a nice nude. All right, these I'm not gonna take out of the plastic because I'm going to put them in my extras right away. And then I saw these and I, I kind of like them more than I like some of the other ones. You can use these as like page dividers. Just looking to see if I have something that will help emphasize. So there we go. So I can punch these and use these as dividers. Pretty deco. Oh, this is really nice. I like this again. This this theme is very. I like. I like this theme. Oh yes. And then this I will probably put in somewhere. Definitely. She does some of these planner spreads, which I think are actually soups cute. So I'll hang on to that. I think this hello. I don't know. That might go in. That might go in the D stash box. And then Good Vibes. This might go in the D-Stash box as well. The Hello and the Good Vibes aren't really my jam. So I'm just gonna pull those for right now. I'm also going to pull 
the planner spread, the pen, I like where it's situated. I've been going through and pulling out a lot of a lot of deco stuff lately that I know isn't going to get used and things like this have a tendency not to get used, but I could also, you know, I could washi tape this in somewhere. So I think these I will find a use for. Just a me thing. I am excited about the macrame charm. Let me just say when she did this, I was a little bit disappointed. I don't know, I don't know if she knows the Netflix kids series for Puss in Boots, but I immediately thought of Artifius and his dang macrame owls. Yes, I did. Oh, and this guy is sparkly. Oh, that's gorgeous. Again, the only thing that could make this better is if it were a macrame owl, but I hate to say it, that might just be something that is specific to me. We've got the Villa Beautiful Bee. I love that it looks like a butterfly, but yeah, this, this, this I was all into. So, so yay me. Ooh, if you're interested in keep, I do keep and cut up some of these. I'm actually gonna keep that one. And then she also did, a nice little four pen pen case, which I am really, really excited about. I'm just gonna open it and we'll just put our new pen in it when we get to our new pen. Just shoving stuff in behind me. It is so soft. It, that is, oh, that is so nice. And it's kind of a pinkish tone. So it's nude, but also kind of pink. I really, really, really like that. I was just looking to see if this said if it was vegan or not. It does not on here. I would say check the website. I know a lot of things that I do go to vegan. It doesn't smell necessarily like leather, but it doesn't smell like what a lot of the vegan stuff smells like either. This is the, uh, uh, my pretty pens abstract rainbow pen sleeve. Again, I really love that. It's super soft on the inside. And I will show you with my new pen in just a moment. And then we've got the abstract silhouette enamel pin. I'm just gonna pull it pin. Not pin, charm, baby, charm. Again, I really like the face design, so I think that this would be cute on, on my bag or on my keys. I really like that with the gun metal. I think that's very pretty. Like it's just, I don't know, it's just like a little reminder of whatever, whatever springs to mind for you. And if it's something good, then great. Okay, and then something she did that she was really excited about. And you know what? I'm not sure how excited I am. I love the colors. I don't necessarily know that I like the writing on the bottom from a personal standpoint. This purple's got me though. I have, that is beautiful. It's, it's a lavender, but her lavender is a little bit, it's a little bit different. It's, it's got like, it's like a nudie lavender. It's like a bumped up lavender, if that makes sense. And this is, I really should check these off as I go because if I check them off as I went, I might not have to have to look at that. And this is just the sticky note set. Oh look, it says right on it. We'll just face palm later. It's okay, but uh, I'm not going to open these yet either for the same reason. I am trying to use up a bunch of stuff, but I'm also probably not going to destash these because I do, I'm, I mean, I'm just like looking at, at today and I, I can see applications for these. Just not at the moment because I'm trying to use stuffs up. <laughs> I have mentioned I like, I like stationary planner pen type stuff. I mean, are you, are you, you getting that? Because it's a thing here. All right, I usually go crazy with these stickers right away. I am not going to because I think what I would like to do with the stickers is I would like to actually sit down and kind of show you how I go crazy with deco, but they're really, really beautiful. And I love, I just, I, again, like I said before I purchased this this particular kit, this one is just, this is my vibe. Like this is, this is me 
all day long, things I like in a nutshell. Oh my gosh. I don't just use these for like planner stuff, but I use these kind of in my my note and journal too. Oh, don't forget your worth. I love these. Align your actions to your goals day by day. Yes, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. I love using these guys up. I always find places for all of these guys. The pay bill I usually put on my monthly just as a little reminder. Oh, I like that. Oh, we like that we've got the face and the hanging plant to do notes reminders. I also like that on this, there's a little bit of a difference with there being either pictures or things written on them. I like that. I use these guys as well, just so I can write little reminders or, or all kinds of cute little things. Go in those, inspirations, stuff like that. I like to use these as well to just, to just color out my planner. These guys just deco sheet. Again, more, more planner stuff. I have a planner that I will use these in specifically for more like mood tracking. I love getting these as well. And then these bigger ones I really like. Oh, those are pretty. This one especially is really pretty. Okay, yes, you can, you can tell I like the stickers, but again, I think I'm gonna do a video for that because I feel like I never show you guys that and I'm always like, hey, check this out. <laughs> in the most wonky way. This is the pen. I am like, I am living, I am living for this pen. The only thing that would make it better is if it were just a touch deeper terracotta to me. And if they had, okay. So like if I were to plan a VB pen for this particular month with this particular inspo, what would I have done differently? Not a lot. I like, I like this. I really, I really, really do. So I don't want you to think that me saying there's something I would do differently is a critique. It's not, it's more of a personal preference for this entire, for this entire thing. I would have loved to have seen maybe just a, just a touch deeper terracotta. Although to say that, I mean, it match, it matches the entire, entire vibe for, for the kit. So it's not, again, I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying it's bad and like it should have been done differently. I'm just saying that when, when they, when they leaked it, maybe that, that's the way I should put this. When, so when they leaked it, I know what I hoped for. And I know what I hoped for when, when, when she talked about it for her, for her video before I saw the crystals. Slightly deeper terracotta which again, this is absolutely perfect and it could just be my lighting that's making it seem off. So once I get into more natural lighting out of the dungeon, I will probably feel different about it as well. But I was kind of hoping, sorry for the on, I was kind of hoping that there would be some like succulent colored crystals. Like, couldn't you just see this with some green, with some, some of those, oh, here, here, let's just grab, let's just grab. Where's, it? Where's a nice big one? Like right here. Couldn't you just see it if you had green succulent colored crystals in here? I mean, like that would be fire. If she came out with a pen like that, not that I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's going to see. I don't know if Tip's going to see this. I, I don't think I'm that lucky or that special. So <laughs> I don't know that she would see this, but if she released a pen like this only with a little bit of, of green crystal in there too, I'd be like, yes, I would buy that all day long. Let's be honest, if the pen were that green, I would probably buy that all day long too. So, so again, just a me preference. I also love that it's matte. I do prefer the matte finish to the glossy finish. Personal preference, it's okay. And I like that they went with gunmetal hardware instead of gold hardware or rose gold. I don't think black hardware would have looked good with this. I think it might've been a little too harsh, but I could see where maybe there was a thought to use gold hardware, but I think gold hardware would have blended in a lot. Whereas the gunmetal, you know, I I probably wouldn't have picked the gunmetal myself, but seeing it actually with the pen, it just gives a nice contrast. It just, make, it just makes it sleek. It makes it sleeker and less expected. And maybe that's why the crystals aren't green or there aren't some green crystals. Not, not all the crystals, just some. 
So she put, she put it in like this and then she flipped it over. You can fit four pens in here. I probably will not have four in here at a time. And I was looking at the zip case, but for like travel or throwing it in my bag, I absolutely love this. I think that this is a really pared down version of something. What I would probably do is probably have my VB pen and probably have like my, the pens I take with me or that I throw in my planner bag around the house. If I were going to go somewhere, I would probably just throw them in here and then throw them in my bag as opposed to feeling like I'm carrying 20 pens at once. So again, this is really thoughtful, really happy to have it. I love that it's slim. It kind of reminds me of my grandfather. I feel like I need to, you can't see me, but if you could, I'd say, I feel like I need to throw this in my front pocket. It's a thing, it's a thing, okay. All right, so on that mercenary note, this is, this is it. I mean, it's, it's fabulous. I, I feel like if I'm critical about it, I don't like, don't, don't come for me. I'm not being critical because I don't like it. I'm just saying that in my head, I'm like, Ooh, I would love this or I would love that. Or I would love this option or that option. That is in reality what I'm going for. When I say that it's not a knock at what she has created at all in the least. So please, 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 please don't take it that way. And I will catch y'all in the next one.